I just ask all the saints to just shout a big happy Mother's Day from the Restoration Center to all the lovely mothers in here. Come on. Two, three. Still worship, still listen to the word. God is good. I 
and love my mother all my days, for enriching my life in so many ways. She set me straight and then set me free, and that's what the word mother means to me. Thank you for being a wonderful mother. Mom, I love you. Grandmother. I am a whole grandmother. I know how I'd like to make my presentation to a mother in which she has so much of us inside of here. You only for picking your grandkids and all the way grand. So I'm asking our mother, Myri, to come and see her. Yes, my beautiful, sweet, generous mother. You are so kind. You are so wonderful. I, I, I don't even have enough time to express my feelings. You know, and God has placed you in my life. I am older than you. You are my daughter, but yet you are my mother. You take unto yourself my own daughter, which is your sister, because I am part of your mother. You understand me? So therefore, you take my daughter, your sister, and her children, which is your nieces and nephews. So we are one bit of the family here. And I really appreciate you. I love you. I really love you. And for that reason, I just want to give you this little token of my love. Because I appreciate you. Now, you know how God has blessed TRC? Every year, we end up with a first-time mom. And I remember when it was Sister Johnson and baby Ari was coming, I remember when it was Sister Katie. And today we have Sister Shayna. Shayna? No, the baby. What's the baby's name? Look at that pretty little girl. All right, Sister Shayna and Sister Sarah. Please come, we're going to give her a little token from TRC family. Come here, come here. Praise God, praise God. But this one is for the mommy and not the daddy today. Praise God. So God bless you, Sister Sarah, from the Restoration Center family. We truly, truly love you. Praise God. And everyone knows who is next. Not you. We know who is next. Yes! I shall be on our way, very much on our way. So we know who is going next year. Right, Sarah Ann? Praise God. You know what it is for me? He's been my doctor. He's been my lawyer. My God's been good to me. He's been my friend. You know what? He's been my comforter. When I was lonely and when I was going astray, you know what? He took me in. then we realize that all we mainly hear about are the men who begot who and who begot who but can I tell you that a man cannot begot without a woman yeah, right. uh, am, I, am I talking to the church the Bible describes the woman or the man as being the head now if the man is the head then the woman is the body yes. uh, can I talk to somebody and as much as the head can move, it is the body that does the work and the action. Somebody say amen. And so in the equation of life, 
in order to fulfill this equation, you've got to have man and woman. And am I talking to the church? It is the woman that helps to fulfill a man's role. A man cannot fulfill God's purpose without a woman. I cannot talk to the church. As we look into creation, the Bible said that God made Adam and the one thing that God said that was not good and that was for the man to be alone. Am I talking to the church? And so God decided that he would make a help meet. Now let me make this clear. God didn't say he was going to make a helper. Uh, are you with me somebody? God didn't say that he was going to get a maid for Adam. And so when Adam gets thirsty and when Adam gets hungry, he rings a bell and the helper comes. Are you with me somebody? But God made woman to fulfill man. Man cannot fulfill God's purpose without a woman. Is, is, is the church with me? Is the church with me? And so in order for man to reproduce, God gave them a commandment. He said, be fruitful and multiply. And it is a situation where as much as our man uh, is the bank, if you will, and whatever storage he has within him, when a man, uh, you know, look at it just for a bit, when a man finds himself and he goes to donate, Mm -hmm. I know you're coming with me, praise God. After the man donates, then he can move and go back to his work, go back to his life, go back to doing what he was doing. But it is the woman who receives that seed. Oh God Almighty, after two weeks or some time after, they start to notice my God Almighty, some things start to happen. Praise God. You start to get nauseous. Are you with me, somebody? You start to find that. Uh, you start to get, praise God Almighty, start to throw up and start to spit a lot. And while the man is going on about him business, are you with me, somebody? The woman is left for seven or nine months to carry that seed and to nurture that seed. I wish every man would just say thank God for women. So like as a workless man we have, praise God. But I wish some real men would say thank God for women. Because what a woman goes through to bring a child into the world, a man should adopt or a woman a man should see a woman as nothing less than a princess or let's take it up a queen are you with me somebody some years ago i got into some problems in my church you know some other spirit right got into some problems at my church because when I was getting married, young people, may I confess it's something to do it, right? When we were getting married, my wife, to be then, was looking so beautiful. In her white, I said to be then. And when I look at how she was dressing and how she looked, man. And she had what I want to call it, look up crowns and tiara or whatever. Whatever I want to call it, one crown. <laughs> she had on a crown on her head. And me, young man, I said to myself, say, why express something more if I can't sing? God never bless me for sing, bless me for chat. I said, oh man, I said, no man. This woman means so much to me and I want to express it. And I couldn't find the right song. Couldn't sing when I'm low in the spirit. I call out, I couldn't sing that better. No, I want to express something to her. I couldn't sing Andy Walks. 
quit me. The, 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 the nearest song the could sing was close to thee. But the song couldn't reach. And when I look at the woman, and look at how special she looked, and still look. I decide someone is going to get in a problem. She, she said, if I'm sure, if I said, yes, I'm sure. So I said, so you're not going to do it because I'm getting a problem. So guess what? You're not going to get in a problem with me too. But when I look at her, all I could say was, so why? Never been someone shy. Until I see in your eyes, still I had to try. I said, Oh, yes, let me get my words right and approach you. Woman, I will treat you like a man is supposed to. I know many men can relate to when they find that special someone. With a crown on her head, I said, She's royal. Royal, and I want her in. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So as Mister, me getting a problem feet. So only can do it. Women are royal. So now is the time when you make the connection, one with the other. If you're a mother at this time, you should be coming closer and should be holding hands with the other mother. Just before we go in the second segment. And we have somebody at the altar who wants to come back to the Lord Jesus. And it's something glorious today. Can we put our hands together and get excited for the Lord? And so we can say that today was productive. When one soul decides to come back to the Lord, I would not for you to rejoice. Give me some. Give me some. Give me some. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. The fact that we have one, so we had one coming back on Thursday night. And today, we have another sister who is saying, I am ready to come back to the Lord. I expect you to be more excited than that. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Lord bless you, my sister. We ask for more praise, God. We just got time to come and praise the Lord Jesus. Say God, you turn a mess into a message. Now the messenger arrive. Committed to the journey, so me now go backslide. Looking through the spirit and not physical eyes. Who to God me testify? Know me at the work of God. 